I think I'm here. <laughs> um, hi, um, this is Mog, and I'm, I'm live streaming from home. Normally, I would be uh, playing this lunchtime live gig at St. Francis Church up the road from where I live. Um, but you all know well why that won't be happening today. Um, and um, Robert has asked um, if we could just pass on a message uh, for today, which is um, just to say, if you can subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel, that'd be amazing. Um, uh, because obviously, uh, the more people that subscribe, the more people know about it. And there's loads of lovely musicians that come and play here. So, um, yeah, please come and do that. Um, and the other thing was, uh, what was the other thing? I can't remember. Um, oh, yeah, um, you can make a donation during this uh, uh, because St. Francis Church, they don't get in, they're doing this just out of the goodness of their heart. So, um, and also we get a little bit as well, which is great because musicians aren't really um, making big money right now. So uh, this is a way of uh, making a little bit. Uh, so if you want to contribute to that, that'd be amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to play some songs. Uh, I've got little things here. Um, I'll start by explaining because I think some people here don't know that I put music to poetry. Uh, so um, usually poems that are in the public domain that I don't get in trouble about. So, um, so we've got uh, people like Amy Lowell, uh, American poet, Christina Rossetti, uh, William um, Wordsworth, sorry, and uh, a mixture of different people. But um, first of all, I just want to say, I, I'm rambling on a bit. I won't go on a bit because I want you to hear some music. I know you want to hear some music. Um, but just want to say happy birthday to my friend Katie today. Um, just to say yeah, it's a nice big birthday for her. And uh, we would love to have celebrated it with you, Katie. But you can uh, hopefully tune in today or later uh, because you might be busy. And to Marvin yesterday. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to get on with some songs. And uh, the first song we're going to play is uh, it's called Round the Year. And this is uh, a song by, um, well, a poem by Coventry Patmore. Okay. The crook is wild, the days are dark, unfolded sad from sheen. But April's touch, the crude is bark, discovers gems of green. Then sleep the seasons full of might While slowly swells the pot And round the peach and in the night The mushroom bursts the soul the winter falls, the frozen rut is bound with silver bars. The snow drift heaps and in the night, the night is pierced with stars. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, well these first uh, four poems I'm singing are by Christina Rossetti. So that was, um, um, well, actually, that was Philip Cov uh, Coventry Patmore. But the next ones are Christina Rossetti and Amy Lau. And really, they're just lullabies, um, in a sense. So I usually tell people in the evenings to bring the sleeping bags because they're quite gentle. Um, and, yeah... I can hear something, I don't know what that is. Anyway, <laughs> uh, here we are, and I'm going to play another one by Christina Rossetti now, um, and it's called, well, I don't know whether it's called Colour or, or Orange, but um, I still don't know. But I think I'm going to put this one, which I've already recorded, but I'm going to put it on the Spring EP because that's the next um, project, is making a Spring EP, and I'm working on that at the moment. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to get in tune. Mm -hmm. 
What is pink? A rose is pink by a fountain's brink. What is red? A poppy's red in its barley bed. What is blue? The sky is blue where the clouds flow through. What is white? The sky is white where it is. La, la, la. That was meant to be swans. <laughs> What is yellow, pears are yellow, rich and ripe and mellow. What is green, the grass is green, with small flowers between. What is violet, clouds of violet, in the summer twilight. What is orange, why an orange, just an orange. Thank you. Um, I was just going to let you know that I've got a little iPad set up here, but um, I can see some little comments, and I, I just, I've got to be in the zone, so I can't really read them because it's a little bit far away. But I can see some comments, so thank you very much for leaving some comments. I'll read them later, um, so I can't sort of get back to you immediately with what you're saying, but it, it's so lovely that you're, you're there sending messages. Uh, it gives me a bit of oomph to carry on then, because um, we're going to get a few songs to get through. Um, this is... Um, I think we're a little bit out of sync, so, um, but that's okay, it doesn't matter, does it? So anyway, so this is the next uh, poem, and it's uh, by Amy Lowell, an American poet. Um, she died in about 1925, and uh, yeah, what am I going to say about this? It's actually from a poem called September 1918, and it's kind of really based on uh, uh, it's w the war, really, about after the war. Um, uh, but I've kind of made it a little bit smaller, the poem, and sort of focused on sort of the beauty with, within this sort of uh, stuff that's not so great. And I guess in a way at the moment with um, what's going on, I think um, it's easy to get pulled into all the negativity. And uh, I guess we've got to really try and look at um, what we, what's beautiful out there. And, and this one's called Falling Through the Sunlight. And um, um, let's celebrate the sun. <laughs> okay. This afternoon was a color of water. This afternoon was a color of water. Falling through the sunlight, falling through the sunlight. The trees, the trees, glittered with the tumbling of leaves. The trees, the sidewalk shone, the sidewalk shone, like alleys of drop maple leaves. The sidewalk shone. This this afternoon was a color of water. This afternoon was a color of water. Falling through the sunlight, falling through the sunlight. And the houses, the houses, ran along them laughing out of square open strange not to be able to uh, engage with people <laughs> that you would at a gig. Um, 
it's just like walls. <laughs> Peace is quite nice, but um, very strange. Um, so it's nice to see sort of um, blurry comments popping up. It feels like there's people here, so it's great. Thanks. Um, okay, I'm going to move on to a poem. Um, it's called Flint, and it's by Christina Rossetti. Okay. <laughs> as green as grass mm. a ruby red as blood a sapphire shines as blue as heaven mm. a flea set list here um i'm just going to change okay so what you've been listening to uh here is uh, baritone ukulele um i have another instrument i'm about to play which is a quattro um so i'm just going to put that there um, and change my instrument Famous for getting caught in a revolving door and kind of exploding the whole thing. And uh, I'm thinking I couldn't get it fixed, but I did take it somewhere and uh, they said, there's no way we can fix that. <laughs> Basically, boing, the whole thing come apart. And I said, I have to have this fixed because I love it. Even though it's the most out of tune instrument ever, I love it. So always people have to bear with me on this, but it has a little charm in its, in its own way. Um, right, okay, let's see. Out of tune this charmness, okay. Let's just make sure it's slightly in tune. Okay, hold on. Uh, can you cope with that? <laughs> um, I think I can do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so, um, so we're going to move back to March. <laughs> now it's May. Um, we're going to, this, this poem... Um, I have this. I found this lovely book. Um, it's a child book of lyrics, and this one is by William Wordsworth, and it's called A Change in a Year. So it's a little sort of um, introduction to spring. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this. Hold on. Uh, I'll just try that. See what happens. Okay. I'm not sure about that. Hold on. Individually, they sound fine, but when you put them together, it sounds awful. But okay, let's do, let's go, let's go. It is the first smile 
day of March Each minute sweeter than before The red breast sings from the tall arch That stands beside our door There is a blessing in the air which seems a sense of joy to yield to the bad trees and the mountains bare and grass in the green field a blessing in the air and grass in the green field. Lovely. <laughs> well, I think it's lovely. <laughs> I don't know. I love that poem. Um, thank you, William Wordsworth, for that. Um, and um, thank you, William Wordsworth, for the next one. This is a poem called The Cuckoo. There's actually two cuckoo songs in this uh, set. As long as I don't chat too much, we might get the other one in. Um, I'll just go on with it. <laughs> just get on with it. Okay. The sun has long been set, the stars are out by twos and threes. The little birds are piping yet among the bushes and the trees. There's a cuckoo, one or two thrushes, and a far off wind, the brushes, and the sound of water that gushes. The sun has long been set, the stars are out by twos and threes. The little birds are piping yet among the bushes and the trees. And the cuckoo's sovereign cry fills all the hollow of the sky. And the cuckoo's sovereign cry fills all the hollow of the sky. Um, thanks. I'm sorry about this <laughs> this tuning thing, but um, well, hopefully you get you get the feel of um, of how it is. <laughs> okay. Um, so I made a, an autumn EP um, in 2017, and and then I made a winter one just in January. Um, so you can see a theme and something coming along next. Um, 
So this is a song from the autumn EP and it's called An English Breeze. Um, and you can even look on, on Vimeo and there's a little film, I think it's just above the clouds. Sort of um, and um, this is it. Thank you. Um, um, that was by Robert Louis Stevenson. Robert Louis Stevenson. Um, and the next poem is by a poet called Adelaide Crapsey, and her poetry was um, sort of found her poetry in a book of images poems, along with uh, um, Amy Lau. And um, and this song is specifically for today, specifically for Ari and Ursula, um, uh, who aren't very well at the moment, and. Um, I made a film to go with this song, and I made it in Helsinki when I was on uh, the tram, and I just put my phone on the on the window, and I just recorded everything that happened, you know, and uh, made this kind of little tour of Helsinki, and that's thanks to them for inviting us to come and visit and spending some time with them, and I'm just uh, I, if everybody could just have a, a kind of have them. Ari and Ursula in their thoughts today because you know it's 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 um it's a, it's a really horrible time for some people and and um, I just want them to both be well and um, so yeah this is for you. Listen with faint dry.
If it were light to touch, than petal a flower of resting on grass, on grass. If it were light to touch, than petal a flower of resting on grass, on grass. Oh, still too heavy it were. Too heavy, oh, still too heavy it were. Too heavy, oh, still. Just now. Out of the strange, still dusk. As strange as still, a white moth flew, flew. If it were light to touch, than petal a flower of resting on grass, on grass. If it were light to touch, than petal a flower of resting on grass, on grass. Oh, still too heavy it were. Too heavy, oh, still too heavy, it were too heavy, oh, still. Okay, thanks a lot. Um, I have no idea what time it is. Um, I'm hoping that um, it's all going to the plan of the timing. Um, so I've only got two songs left, so you're all right. Please tell me, um, anybody, if, 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 if I've only got time for one, but we'll go on for the next one. So I'm going to go back to the, the baritone um, ukulele, and I mentioned that there, there was um, two cuckoo songs. I had found this song, um, or this poem. I can't remember where I found it, but I found this poem, and I thought it was lovely, and for some reason, I just didn't click that this is a folk song that I've actually heard um, by um, the Big Tanyans have played it. And then today, I was just looking up who else has played this because it's, it's I think it's really well known. And um, um, there's an early recording by a man called Clarence Ashley, and it's absolutely lovely. So that this lovely old sort of 1950s, I think maybe. It's just beautiful. He's on the banjo and he's playing the song. But anyway, the point is, my version is completely different. Um, it hadn't clicked, and I just wrote this this um, these this tune. So you might recognise the words, and you might think, "What the hell's going on here with all with this tune?" But anyway, it's another version. We can all have different versions, different versions of ourselves. You know, why not? Uh, okay. <coughs> so um, so it's called the cuckoo, or um, other people call it. Cuckoo, C O O C O O. Um, I'm calling it the cuckoo, C U C K O O. <laughs> okay. This is very new, so um, it's very simple. Everything I play is simple, but this is very new, so even if it's simple, I still might make a mistake. So hopefully not. The cuckoo. She's a pretty bird. The cuckoo, she's a pretty bird. She sings as she flies. Ooh. And that brings us good tidings. 
She brings us good tidings. She tells us no lies. Love the beauty above. She sucketh white flowers. She sucketh white flowers to make And the more she sings cuckoo, and the more she sings cuckoo, the summer draws near. Ooh. The beauty above. Sorry, I said I'd do that. Love the beauty above. Probably should stop there. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I've. Have I got time for one more? Um, let me just see if I, I'm just going to check. I haven't got any messages saying to stop, so I'm going to play this, the last one. Um, it's called A Final Light. It's the only song I'm playing that's on my winter EP. I made a winter EP, but it just seems really wrong to be singing winter songs right now. So um, this is the one song on the EP that kind of covers all the seasons, um, and it feels like, um, yeah, I don't, think it'll, I don't think you'll be sort of depressed about it coldness here there's um, a lot of warmth in it and um, I wanted to say something about it yeah it's by Alfred Lord Tennyson I've just saw that Patrick had said um, what was that other song called the one that you mentioned that was Steps of Passing Ghosts sorry I didn't say um, and it's actually three um, poems in one I found from um, Adelaide Crapsey so um, I'll tell you about that another time <laughs> um, so um, yeah this one is by Alfred Lord Tennyson it was written over 17 years it, it, the whole poem is about well, how many is it? I've written it down here. It's 723 uh, verses, stanzas, whatever you call it, um, or whatever you like to call it. And um, so it's really, really long. Um, and, and this is a, the shortened version of it. Okay. So, um, yeah, thanks everybody for listening. I really appreciate it. Um, and thanks for staying. <laughs> you stayed. Wait. <laughs> That's, really That's good. Um, okay. <laughs> We paused, the winds were in the beach We heard them sweep the winter land And in a circle, hand in hand Sat silent looking each at each Ooh, ooh Behold, we know not anything I can but trust the good shall fall at last for off at last we will and every winter change to spring come not in watches of the night but where the sunbeam broodeth warm come beauteous in thine after form like a finer light in light mm -hmm. 
But summer on the streaming floods And spring that swells in narrow brooks And autumn with a noise of rooks That gather in the waning woods Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. When summer it I'm really sorry oh dear that's terrible that's it <laughs> never change key in a song <laughs> I'll keep going I've got to keep going now of rising worlds by yonder wood it's all gone wrong <laughs> last song That's what happens when you try and um, do a poem that's 723 stanzas. You start to panic, you start to sweat, your palms get sweaty, you, you panic about how long it's going to take, and then it all goes wrong. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed all the songs. Um, I just want to say, uh, well, thank you so much to everybody for, for, for being here. Uh, it's really lovely. Um, I have something else to say. <laughs> what am I going to say? <laughs> Don't go. Let me say this. Uh, Yes, okay, so uh, this event is happening every week, uh, lunchtime live, and um, it's always at 10 past one until 10 to two, um, so it's only like a 40 minute set. So please, if you, again, if you want to uh, click subscribe to um, the little button underneath here, and also if you want to make a donation, that'd be great. Um, you don't have to make a donation for the last song, you can sort of make a little bit less for that maybe, uh, but please do, <laughs> if you, <laughs> you really appreciate it. Um, and leave comments. I think I've seen lots of comments, actually, so that's wonderful. So thank you so much for leaving comments. Um, and I'm going to leave you and have a beautiful day. And thank you so much again. How many times did I say thank you? <laughs> okay. Bye-bye, um, and see you again. <laughs>